Away we go with the final group game of the Volleyball Nations League finals here in Chicago. Russia in white with the serve, the USA in all blue looking for the first side out, but it is Russia who have it into transition. Good up from Shoji. Fans enjoying that one. Oh, that one is off the throat, or maybe off the chest of Christensen, and Russia take the first point. Putting it in front of the reception player. It's up from Sander. Now it's been given us down. Surprise that call came as late as it did. Getting a feel for what the other side of the net is trying to do. That's a good block from Holt. Max Holt there says, I got an idea. I think I'll just commit with this middle here and get him here. See, he gets in front of the middle and full commit in a full jump while that middle attacker said he's in the air already with him. If you come off the bench to know exactly what's going on, what rhythm, what timbre is on the court, and, and to fill in. It's a nice run there by Micah Christensen. Another example of a long distance set, but David Smith. I was first told to do that as a player. I'm thinking, well, if I throw my shoulder up, am I going to hit the ball? I'm going to be sending the ball into the ceiling, but it doesn't happen. Nice swing from Jeski. Move out here by, oh, we see a serve here. Yeah, another nice reception by Eric. Good vision. Oh, that's a good serve. Free ball here for the USA. Shoji in early and then the movement begins. It's just like watching a symphony orchestra. I like is Eric Shoji communicating so early, clearing out his players, so it allows all four attacks. Uh, from any given point, it's one of the special qualities of Micah Christensen. That has gone down with interest. to point out the serving for the U.S. on this Russia on this Russian reception and it's making the block. Well played by Holt. Produce such high quality players, particularly in the men's game when there's no tree swing hitting from a middle blocker. Good covering. That'll stay in play. Good dig from Christensen. Sanders on it. USA hustling to get back into position. But it's off the block and away this time, and it's Russia that win the mega rally. The USA, even at this point in the set, not giving up on anything. Into the court. Unfortunately, USA scrambling and, and Russia taking advantage of the scramble along the net from the US. You see Jashki there, not a, rigid, not a middle block. Lovely. See quick with Anderson coming behind. Maximum pressure. You see David Smith kind of moving in front and then sharp pit, almost faking out his middle blocker. So tough to track him as a block. It's set point for the USA. U.S. getting their hands on everything. Good up by Jeski and by Christensen. Maybe a better opportunity here for Russia to try and save the set, but they've given a free ball of sorts to the USA, and it's a block from Russia in the end, who just hang on by their fingertips. Four. Nice pickup by Thomas Jeski there. And another one here by David Smith. But a great, solid block out of system for Russia to, to... No changes for the USA ahead of this second set. They lead by one set to love. I love that opening, opening set. Great pass for Russia here, running right down the pipe, center of the court. Good response. Christensen going back to Jeski. He's just re established him as a threat. Christensen to go back to him. See here. Nice dig. Oh, good 
play from Anderson. There's always that little moment as that ball was dug by Christensen, and you know, uh oh, the middle block is under it. It's Smith. This could go anywhere. And set, and then give Anderson this option. Puts him in a great spot there, pushing it from the side corner of the. Who knows? We might even see an evolution of the game whereby. Oh, that's a good swing from Holtz. Imagine an evolution of the game where your your setter can pass and play quick. Yeah. That's what the, oh, what's so fun? Sorry. What's so fun about that attack there? Mr. Anderson with a very Clay Stanley-esque pre-serve routine. Former opposite player for the US, brilliant. And the USA just shows a little bit of Brazil. Easy, isn't it? The three's the maximum. Jeski ready for it. Pass from Jeski because he kept his platform, didn't he? No matter what was happening, he kept that angle in his arm straight, so it was going to go towards the setter. So much platform awareness on that pass by him. And another nice swing by Matt Anderson. Flowing through the ball, and that's the, one of the keys to it. Another good ball in. USA have just dealt with everything pretty much that Russia have thrown at them. It's going to give everybody watching at home a really good opportunity. And then when do I just need to get stopped and be ready to move and play this ball? Smith serves again. There was no block touch. Russia having used both their timeouts. They have one challenge left. That's a, a better swing and a decent angle from Semishek. Yes, you see, it's pretty good looking block. And David Smith in a good position, but Semishek. Well, Semishek's hardly had any court time, 13 points in the whole of the VNL. And this is as much court time as he's had in a match. And it's a, another big block from the USA. 21-15 now they leave. Monster block ringing out here. Not normally a float server for Matt Anderson, but remember Matt Anderson playing his front. He's been on the scene for a while and he's getting a chance again here. Ben Patch has come in to have a chance and he can go and enjoy that ace serve from Thomas Jeski. Uncertainty, <laughs> and he scores a point. Move. You see, you see somebody coming at you. You can maneuver your body to the sides. There's awareness there, but you don't want to see anybody bashing heads for sure. That'll do for Russia. A lot of options. It's just a matter of getting that first. That's a really good take from Jendrik, because that would have been an ace otherwise for Russia. And now the USA have a chance in transition. Mwaga Tutia, clever play from Mwaga Tutia. The end here, Mwaga Tutia shows us a really nice soft touch over the block there. So much precision on that. Can't miss that. That was on a silver platter. He said, there you go, sir. Michael Christensen having to be thanking his passer, saying, guys, I'm not having to move very much. This is, this is a little bit confused on that understanding, but yes, that is correct. But it's important as well that referees don't confuse interfering with play with interfering with the player. Nice swing from Patch. Somebody, because it's not rugby. That's a top swing from Patch. Just great to see from the super slow-mo from the net cap. Belter, that one pinballs around. D to super spike, he's up, he put that ball with some, well, that's a great swing, he hits above the ball. Earlier on, this, uh, towards the end of last year, and you just kind of wonder whether or not he's grooming himself, being groomed for a coaching role, either within the national team or once his playing career comes to an end. That is a belter from Jeski. Gives Jeski one-on-one. -on -one. Good work from Hooman to make sure that... into transition. Well, well, for the first time in a long time, USA's cover, everyone was stuck inside the three-meter line. Was set out a system like that. You want to see all blockers going a little shallow. You always want one person, preferably Thomas Jeschke. Mika Ma'a once again. Nice touch. Well, that's handy, having Ma'a ready to set. No carry called against Russia. Play continues. Lovely blocking. Patch getting in. <laughs> it's nice move from Patch. It's quite the celebration by Ben Patch there. A little shoulder shimmy. The three-person block. Great block. Better celebration. 
see there, not a lot of... Still match point for the USA, four opportunities from side out. And they don't need to use them. It's an unforced error from Russia. USA take the set 25-20, and they've beaten Russia by three sets to nothing. Both teams through to the semi-finals, but it's the USA who go through as top of their group.